Saudi Arabia's construction industry is witnessing good times with giga projects including the 334 km square Kidia Entertainment City, the Red Sea project Neom, as well as the 3800 km square Amala, driving the kingdom's ambition to reduce its reliance on oil-based revenues as part of its Vision 2030. Today's episode of Construction Week in Focus sheds light on the Kidia Entertainment City and what did the year 2019 witness in terms of progress on this Giga project. I am Ranju Warrior, reporter at Construction Week. Welcome to another interesting episode of Construction Week in Focus Season 4. Kidia Investment Company, which is QYC, is a wholly owned subsidiary of Saudi Arabia's his Royal Highness Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman led public investment fund is developing the 334 km square Kidia Entertainment City Giga project which is located 45 km from the capital Riyadh. Kidia's master plan was designed in conjunction with Jarke Ingels group founded by Danish architect Jarke Ingels. The sports, entertainment and arts project has been divided into five development nodes including resort core, city centre, eco core, motion core and a golf and residential neighbourhood. In July 2019, QIC's Chief Executive Officer Mike Reininger said that more than 20 architecture companies have reportedly been contracted to work on the Giga project. The CEO had also said at that time that 17,000 new jobs would be created through the development of Kidia. In August 2019, QIC told Construction Week that local Saudi Arabian contractors were to soon commence work on the Six Flags theme park within Kidia that will feature five hotels within Phase 1. The hotels are planned to open as part of Kidia's first phase in 2023. Reiningut has revealed that QIC also said that no gender division would be visible at its Six Flags theme park, which the developer added would appeal to a broad spectrum of audiences in Saudi Arabia at that time. In October, QIC and South Korean giant Samsung Group signed an extensive memorandum of understanding that will enable QIC to work with a number of businesses under the Samsung umbrella, including engaging with Samsung CNT for the design, engineering and construction of Kidia Sports Complex, working with Samsung Electronics to become Kidia's primary technology sponsor and building co-branding and naming rights for some of Kidia's anchor facilities. In order to support all aspects of the Six Flags theme park, including strategic planning, budgeting and operations, QIC appointed Brian McHammer as the park president in November 2019. Following this announcement, the vice president of business, development and international operations at Six Flags, Maria Centrula, said that Kidia would be the largest of its kind in the world in terms of entertainment and games adding that the Giga project would break a set of world records. In December 2019, Saudi Arabia's Crown Prince, His Royal Highness Mohammed bin Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud was named the Chairman of the Board of Directors of Kidia Investment Company, following Public Investment Fund's approval to form the company's new board. The formation of QIC's Board of Directors came in line with the project's future directions. December also saw the company mobilize its team on-site at first of its two site offices that were built by Dubox, a part of Amana Group, with the offices being the first ones to be constructed on-site. The 21,000 meter square complex will accommodate approximately 150 employees who are working on phase one of the Giga project that will open its doors in 2023. That's all from us about the Kidia Entertainment City Giga project. We will come back with another interesting video very soon. Stay tuned to our YouTube channel and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.